Hi there guys, welcome to the next episode. As you can see, Alice is now on the lift. It's not the easiest job in the world anymore with it. Well, she's not got any wheels anymore at the front. Um, so I have to use the, the pallet truck to get her here. Um, get fairly good at driving her like that now. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm not going to be doing that for too much longer. So, plan for today. Get her all masked up, ready. Um, blow the car off, get rid of all the dust. And then we're going to start putting some primer down top coat and then some clear coat on her uh, today so um, yeah we'll just crack on with some work shall we right so I'm starting to prepare the workshop for doing it and as you can see I'm not in a paint booth I'm doing it in the workshop um, so I have to take a couple more precautions than you would do if you're in a paint booth normally in a paint booth you'd have the air being sucked either downwards or being sucked upwards so the dust would go either down or up um, obviously I can't do that in the workshop as such but up there way up in the roof we've got fans blowing the heat downwards so there is a slight downward pressure already pushing dust downwards and then at the side of every lift we've got an exhaust extractor so the plan is then to put an exhaust extractor on the floor and switch it on which means that you'll get air being pushed downwards from the fans and being sucked from underneath with the extractor fan now obviously this is made for exhaust fumes and I'm going to be putting paint into the air so I'm going to put a bit of filter material in the end there so that the, the paint itself gets stuck to the filter and doesn't go all the way into the fan system um, then obviously the floor um, the paint is going to go down to the floor well I don't really want it to get stuck all over the floor so over there we've got a hose pipe for the fire so what I'm going to do is use the fire hose there and have water trickling all the way down here and it'll go all the way across here and it'll go into the drain over there um, and that will allow any paint dust that does come down on the floor will get washed away and it'll go into the draining system and as it's water-based paint it's fine so Alice is all the way up there ready um, as you can see she's pretty much ready for paint now the underside of her is clean and ready to go now I will be painting to roughly here this kind of area probably about there because that's where the bracket goes for the engine cradle so roughly about there ish um, underneath the wheel arches they won't be done at this moment they'll be done later with proper body coating uh, but the engine bay underneath of the engine bay and the bonnet up there as you can see has been primed ready so um, all we need to do now is mask off these the gaps that you can see there and these gaps here where paint will come out mask all that off uh, mask off the rest of the car all the wheel arches and the wings and the bonnet and the roof and all the rest of it and then we're getting ready for paint right so that's the car all masked off now totally covered up everywhere we need to be primer on anywhere that was not covered by the original paint and all the holes filled in ready to go so all we've done now we've got a hose running here with some water on the floor to collect some of the dust the extraction fans there we're just going to put some filter across that uh, we'll start off by painting the top side of the car across there and across there all the tops here and the tops there across the front here then we'll lift it up and do all the rest of the underneath and we're hoping we've got enough paint to do the bonnet if we don't then that can be done at a later stage so let's get some paint out then Oh. 
Well, as you can see, we're done with the paintwork. It's all nice and shiny. It's not a perfect finish. There's some bits of dust and little things like that, but they can all be polished out later. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm really, really happy with the result. This is going to look so, so nice when it's put back together again. And I've unmasked the car as well. Taking everything off of the car now, and I think you'll agree that that does look so much better now that the rest of the paintwork matches the engine bay. It's going to look so much nicer now when I start putting things like the fan back in and the bonnet switch and that when it's all nice and shiny in their black paint and stuff. So uh, I'm really looking forward to putting this back together again now. So uh, next week's video will be me putting things back together again. Uh, one of the jobs I've got to do, and it'll probably be next week's video, is the steering rack needs cleaning, painting, some powder coating has been done to it, the plate for the heater matrix there I want to powder coat, I think the plates for this, for the bonnet catch and the, uh, the wiper motor, I'm going to powder coat them, I also want to powder coat the wiper arms as well, so things like that I can take off now and start to powder coat them, put them back together again and then Shortly, I'm going to put the engine back in again. I want to say a massive thank you to Philip, who's been with me today. I'll put a link to his Instagram down here. Um, he's been the one that's done the paint for me, and he's done an amazing job. I'm really, really happy with that. Go and look at his Instagram. You'll see all the other painting. He does some amazing work with uh, fuel tanks on uh, motorbikes. That's his kind of thing. Um, but he's done my car as well for me so i'm really really happy with that check his instagram out and you'll see what amazing work he's done a lot of candy and flakes and stuff so really impressive um, so again massive massive thank you to philip for that i'm really really impressed and i'm really really happy right so that's it for this episode i'm gonna leave this for about a week now to dry before i start putting anything back together again um next video i'm gonna start cleaning up and get the powder coater out again and start powder coating some parts that are going to go back onto this like the steering rack and things like that also want to clean up the gearbox um, and get that painted uh, and then i can fit the engine and gearbox for what i hope is going to be the last time um, so yeah join me again next time and we'll see you in the next episode thanks a lot and bye bye